Alcohol nearly killed Darren Lyons, and it may yet do so. He started binge drinking at 13. By his 20s, he was knocking back six pints several times a week. When he tried to stop, he couldn't. Earlier this year, at the age of just 38, he suddenly turned yellow from acute liver failure, then lost several pints of blood from a ruptured cancer in his stomach. You feel invincible, don't you, when you're a teenager? You don't think anything like that can ever possibly happen to you. Not by just drinking alcohol. Do you consider yourself to be lucky in any way? Very, very, very lucky. Yeah. Why? I've got life. Um, I don't know for how long, but I'm here. Darren's doctor has a dozen patients at a time on his ward with liver failure caused by alcohol. When he started his career, they were alcoholics in their 50s and 60s. Now, some are social drinkers and much younger. 40% of the patients that we see are under the age of 40. They're presenting with, with serious, with terminal liver failure as a result of alcohol under the age of 40. Some of them in their 20s. The youngest person that I've ever had who's died of alcoholic liver disease was a girl who was only 90 years old. Um, just a bottle of the Sauvignon Blanc, please. Yeah. And can I have a mineral water, please? Yeah. Gemma Kennedy has cut back on the booze. She used to drink socially at lunchtimes and after work, but a test called liver check showed her body was showing signs of alcohol damage. She was horrified. I think there are a lot of people like myself that drink, you know, medium quantities, don't drink to get drunk. Obviously, we're all aware of the binge drinkers who go out and, you know, get trashed and drink wor worrying levels of alcohol. But if you're not in that category, you tend not to worry. The Royal College of Physicians is so concerned about levels of drinking that it wants the government to set a minimum price for alcohol, 50 pence a unit. It would save 3,000 lives a year. It's important we don't portray alcohol misuse as a small minority and just young people. In fact, there's about 30% of many age groups that are drinking at hazardous levels. That includes often people in their 30s, 40s and 50s. And the biggest increase is in drinking at home not in making trouble in our cities on a Saturday night. Darren Lyons has moved to the coast to start afresh. His liver has recovered, though he can never drink again, and he finds out in a few weeks' time whether surgery to remove his stomach cancer has been successful. He can't undo his past. He can only hope he has a future. Thomas Moore, Sky News.